Hi traders, short recap of my trading session today. Take a look at Tesla. I'm already long. Big mistake. It's coming down. As you can see, it's proving to me that it wants to come down. And I'm going to have a stop, not only a stop, I'm going to flip sides. Meaning, instead of long 4,000, if I'm going to short 8,000, which is what my Colmex platform allows me to do, I'm going to flip sides to the short side. Look at how it happens. I'm going to click the button right here now. 8,000 shares now, and I'm short 4,000 shares, which is a great thing that this platform allows me. Now, I had a big loser there, and I'm trying to recover that. But now, Tesla is definitely proving to me that it wants to come down. So there's no reason for me to keep following Tesla for the long side, especially when the market's coming down, proving to me that it wants to continue coming down. We're going to talk about the market a little bit later. But now, take a look at Tesla. Initial move is down. I'm already green. It seems like I should be adding because it keeps coming down, and I'm right here adding another 2000 shares now at that point it not only proved to me that it wants to come down under this support level but wants to continue coming down and again i'm watching the s p 500 and the s p is at a big breakdown day so that's why i'm thinking now that tesla is very very likely to continue now it's a fast forward of what happened to tesla today and it's very important to understand that my target was at the lows and it was it really touched the lows the lows was uh, seven three uh, three or so that was my target it touched that point and I did not get my partial at that point I shouldn't have the same target I should have a better target in fact I'm adding now another 2,000 shares so I just added another 2,000 shares and waiting for the breakdown beautiful cup and handle breakdown it just happened as you can see Tesla moved to a new low and that's something I wanted to discuss with you guys you know when you get into a trade you should have a stop loss which you should definitely um, move out you should move out when your stop loss is reached you should respect your stop loss and a target now it keeps going sideways as you can see here I was a trade for a while but it keeps coming down and you should have a target however the target could be moved not a stop loss we are getting to the point where I would like to add some more, about to add another 2,000 shares because again, it's proving to me that it's going my way here. Look at this very nice technical formation here. And again, it tried to move higher, proved to me that it wants to continue coming down. The market is moving lower and that's why I keep uh, tracking uh, Tesla. So now I have 10,000 shares. It's coming down beautifully, as you can see here, breaking down under the lows. I'm up almost 40 grand right here at that point. $43,000, $50,000 and keeps coming. It keeps coming down. I could have added a little bit more, but I chose not to. At that point, I'm looking for the reversal to move out. Again, very important lesson here. Watch the buyers and the sellers. At some point, you need to um, take your partial. Now, as you can see, a small one minute candle is starting to form here. And I'm watching the seller side and the buyer side. Now the sellers are at 729. And my decision is to take my partial if it moves over 730. It's getting to that point. That, in my opinion, would be a valid, a valid reversal. I mean, if it's going to move over 730, in my opinion, it's going to continue moving higher. So I'm still up $56,000, $50,000. Number are shrinking. And as you can see now, we have a very clear reversal. That would be the partial point of Tesla. So I'm getting ready to cover 9,600 shares at a profit of 40 something thousand dollars over here. Now clicking the button and I just took over $40,000 in profit in my second Tesla trade. Of course, uh, I did have to cover a loss, uh, quite a big loss for my first trade, but that turned out to be a very beautiful trade. Now, I started discussing, talking earlier about your target price. And here's what it has to do with the S&P direction. Look at the S&P. The S&P is clearly coming down. I mean, initially, we had a very big gap down today. But initially, we started moving up and then we came down. And then I started, let's call it trusting Tesla's direction. And once you start trusting Tesla's direction, you can also add. Now, take a look at the S&P. We talked about it on Friday. That's the daily of the S&P. And that's a big breakdown that we're having right now. Today's candle is this big red candle. But it all started on, on Friday. We talked about it on Friday in our trading room mentioned that if the market is indeed going to continue after this very nice interesting breakdown from the highs and it did continue today then I should trust my shorts and that's what happened today now if you trust your shorts and you trust the market direction which should help to your trading I mean your Tesla trading in this case 
And if it all comes in together, you know, you have the backwind from the S&P 500, which is very important because it is the institutional traders, and you, your stock is going your way, then your planned targets should be moved. And that's what I'm, I'm coming back to what I started talking about earlier. You have a stop loss, respect it. In some rare occasions, you change your stop loss. For example, when you have a spike, if the stock is spiking, never move out on a spike, but it's quite rare. But your targets should change according to the stock behavior and the market behavior. The first time I had my target, I didn't take my partial in Tesla. At that point, I just couldn't. It was too fast. And then the second time it came down, I didn't take my partial because it proved to me that it wants to continue coming down. That was the point where I added in Tesla. So instead of taking my partial in Tesla, I added to my Tesla trade. That's where I changed my target. And again, you should change your targets according to the stock behavior and sometimes add because you trust it more. And then you keep coming down with the stock. In this case, it was short, of course, and you try to make more profit. So although I normally look for a one-to-one -one risk reward, I change my targets according to the stock's behavior and the S&P uh, behavior. And, and when they both come in together, that just makes the game much easier. And here's my end result. As you can see, I have several winners today and uh, one loser, two. But uh, it's a great way to start my week. And if you like this video so far, how about giving us a thumb up? It helps our channel. And we will really appreciate if you give us a thumb up for this video. And if you want to join us, there's a subscribe button right here. And uh, you can click on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And plenty of links right here below. All of these trades were posted live today in my trading room. You could have joined us. Uh, it's a free 14-day trial and plenty of other links right here. So thank you very much for watching this video. Appreciate that. I'll see you tomorrow.